I was thinking of uh, talking about a specific time or a specific or event, but I decided to, to talk about my journey as a whole, as all of it has been a fuck up. Starting from a young age, things never have gone right. I remember when I was six, my grandpa got me this uh, bike. It was a Soviet Desna. Um, uh, it, it would have in, uh, it would have uh, from the middle, and it was like a complete marvel. It was awesome. So I decided to take this bike and go to the next communal yard. It's called Bak in Armenian, and cuss at these bullies uh, that would like make everyone's life hell. So I went with my bike really fast, fast. Went there, started cussing at them, and then starting started riding back really fast. And then on the way back, fell, destroyed my knee, and yeah, and like my grandpa got into a fight with their home, the, with their mom, and the whole uh, yard got messed up. But uh, so now, instead of the fuck up lens, let's switch the lens to a success lens. Uh, let's look at it from a different perspective. Um, Actually, with this one, I can't. It's, it's a complete fuck up. Uh, let's move to another one. Uh, okay, there was uh, two more recent times. Uh, actually, one before that. My first kiss. I uh, was gonna... I hesitated so much, I ended up kissing on her forehead. But let's switch the lens again to a lens of now. Right now, it's hilarious, and I'm talking about it, right? Uh, so it's all about the lens. It's all about uh, perspectives. So... Let's move to on to more recent times. Uh, it, it was 2014. I had just graduated UCLA with electrical engineering and math, and I was sitting jobless. Okay, I was watching, uh, so I had two degrees. I thought I was cool. I was sitting and watching uh, Google's uh, developer conference, and here they were handing out Google Cardboards to their developers. And I thought, okay, it'd be cool as a joke, I'll just take all the pictures, some of the pictures, make a website, called it Knox Labs, um, and I'll, pre I'll have people pre-order it. Uh, so that day, like about 500 people pre-ordered. And I was sitting there, I was like, shit, now I have to learn how to cut cardboard. I spent five, six years of my life learning engineering, uh, like thinking I'm gonna go work at like NASA. Now my life's shit. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be a cardboard cutter. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, think, uh, in my head I was completely fucking up. But with the lens of now, it's the best thing that happened to me. It was the start of my business and my foray into VR. I ended up partnering with Google and manufactured more than three and a half million headsets. That's more than PlayStation VR and Oculus combined at the time. So, it's all due to the perspective of the time of observance of the lens. At the moment, fuck up. Later, with the experience of history and road marked and experienced by my side, success. So, again, so things were going great. My team grew from me to 80 people and name brands were working with Knox. Like we were making headsets, developing custom virtual apps for Coors Light, United, Dead Mouse, Simpsons. It was all great. Then it happened again. This time I was like, hey, let's think big. I mean, that's uh, what all the all time successful people did. That they made all these great big things. Musk thought so big, he's running two companies, changing up cars and space at the same time and has the same, has some time for Neuralink. I can do the same in VR. Let's start another company. I can run both. I can, I can do big things. I must think big. So Rodan was born from uh, Knox. Uh, we built the first platform for developing virtual reality applications uh, for front-end developers uh, with very minimal 3D knowledge and just using, uh, you, so you didn't have to know any 3D, just use front-end code. So any developer could make VR apps that would work cross-platform, cross-device. The idea was to democratize virtual reality development. It was awesome. We got into tech stars, raised money, and poured all I made from Knox into this. I mean, all I made. And yeah, we had named the kid Rodan because think big, right? Uh, because Rodan was a great sculptor, and with VR you sculpt, and it was a tool for great artists to sculpt with their, their thoughts away. Uh, Oh, Rodan was a great kid. The idea was great. Execution market adaptation, bad. 
uh, its guardian, me, could not manage his resources well. So I couldn't focus and I couldn't focus on that, I couldn't focus on Knox, and we took so many from its so many resources from its mother, Knox. I was split between the two. The more I fed Rodan, the more I took away from Knox, which, uh, which Knox Labs was flourishing at the moment. But what ended up happening, both suffered immense, immensely, immensely. Eventually, I ended up merging Rodan back into Knox. It's not a good thing to merge a kid back into the mother. He um, was a great kid, he wasn't a dumb kid. Um, so I was devastated. I couldn't do anything for two years, almost lost everything, complete fuck up. At the lens of that time, with the lens of now, it's again, it's an amazing thing that's happened to me. Now I understand the real problems of VR. It helped me dive really deep to the base. I understand why the approach didn't work and why such approaches will never work. Rodan Born was an extension of the paradigms of the time. It was an extension of desktop. It was not born from the medium for the medium. Like Tesla or the iPhone, right? Tesla is born as a pure electric medium first, then a car layer on top. iPhone was born as a mobi mobility first, then a phone layer on top. Uh, we need the same for VR, uh, born from VR, for VR and mobility. So this quote unquote failure fuck up is what actually made me see. And now I'm on a better path because of it. Uh, so now, now I see that you have to go really deep and we have to uh, solve the input problem for VR where uh, we don't have, we have to get away from keyboards because the uh, transition from thought to finger to creation is very slow. So we have to reimagine um, uh, well, what the input method for VR is going to be. Uh, so that's what we're working on now with uh, bracelets that you can use uh, on all devices to create with just your gestures. So, but okay, so the lens of that current time obscures the seed of success. Through the lens of retrospect, we are able to see that seed of success. During these journeys, I understood that, the, that each of our lenses are unique. They define success or failure in their own way, and usually at the time, all seems like it's a fuck up because we tend to compare it with the lenses of the cliches like think big, of what was done right at the time that, there, that these big things successful people did. This is only in retrospect, when we look through the lens of history. So think you. The story of success is in the little details, in the place that's so easy to miss. The things and details that you find beautiful, that no other can see, it's those things that become big things because they are unique to you. That shoe, we mold. It's easy to lay down knowledge through zero to one uh, when the deed is done. No, it's not zero to one, it's one to zero, it's one to one, it's zero to zero, it's your way through your own lens. Uh, the stories of successful people are just autobiographies, not manuals on how to become successful. Define your own lens of success and rescope those fuck ups. And also, this is my autobiography. Don't listen to me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Yay! <laughs>